Health officials say that New Year's Eve party at a Granite Bay mansion has super spreader written all over it. This is hospitals are overwhelmed and cases are exploding in the Golden State. CBS 13's Valina Jones is live in Granite Bay with the fallout from the New Year's Eve bash. Valina. Yeah, well, that party happened right behind me at this gated community. And despite several pictures and videos circulating on social media, public health say contact tracing will be hard if people do not cooperate. Viral images of dozens of maskless partygoers ringing in the new year with a packed event at a Granite Bay mansion are sparking concerns and outrage. People need to start making better choices. Um, I personally wouldn't have gone to a party with 10 people. According to the Placer County Sheriff's Office, an estimated 100 people showed up at the party inside this gated community. But videos circulating on social media show that number could be much higher. The more these kind of events occur, it means the longer that we need to stay closed down to try to limit transmission. So these kind of events are harmful to people's health. They're harmful to the economy. The house formerly owned by actor Eddie Murphy spans two and a half acres. Dr. Dean Blumberg believes the implications of the celebration could have a widespread impact. If there's more than 100 people there, we know that the transmission rate is relatively high. And so we know at least, at least probably five or 10 of them were probably um, able to transmit. Sacramento social media influencer Zane Silmi tonight is apologizing for going to the party after he was spotted in videos online. Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg tweeting about the party, adding, the event showed blatant disregard for the sacrifices so many are making. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if that the numbers go up by triple than what they are now because um, people just didn't want to take it seriously enough, I guess. Deputies responded to a noise complaint and issued a warning. However, the sheriff's office tells CBS 13 no citations were given because there were no additional complaints. Foster County Public Health are advising people who went to the party or gathered during New Year's Eve to get tested and stay home.